In this video, I'm going to be showing how I made a pickup winder. I'm going to start here with a DC motor. It's a 12 volt geared motor. And I have a eight millimeter rod that I have 3D printed some brackets onto. And I am using some bearings with an eight millimeter inner diameter and a 22 millimeter outer diameter. And they're about 7.3 millimeters thick. I'm just measuring how long I want the rod based on the board I'm working on. I'm using a drill to cut the rod so that it doesn't have any burrs. And then I'm going to sand it off just a little bit to make sure the edge is smooth. Here I'm measuring my bit size. I'm just going to mark this rod just a little bit. And now I'm going to do the same for the other side because the bit will just slide off of it. So I'm just really trying to mark the distance. Now I'm grinding just a slight divot so that I have a flat surface to start my drilling into. So the drill doesn't bit doesn't go sideways or anything. Right there, nice and smooth. Now just hammering on the end plate, putting the bit in the drill. And now for the drilling. Now just making sure to put the bearings on before assembling it. Making sure to line up the hole so that the bit will go right into that flat spot. Adding a little oil so the bit doesn't get hurt. There, putting a cotter pin in to hold everything in place. Doing the same to the other side. Now just marking where the spinning piece is going to be for holding the pickup. Now running it through the table saw. Now just marking where I want the brackets to go, screwing everything down, screwing the motor down. Now placing my magnet, and here I am using a neodymium magnet. It's about 12 millimeters by 3 millimeters, wiring in the power. Now this side of the power doesn't matter. Left or right will change the direction of the motor. The other side over here, this one actually does matter, positive and negative because it talks to the circuit board. So you do need to make sure to get the positive and negative in right. Plugging it in for a quick test. And it works. Very simple. Pick up winder. But we actually want to use a um, counter. Now the wiring diagram for this is quite complicated. So here it is. Okay, so number one from the display goes to 12V positive. Number two from the display goes to 12V negative. Now the red wire leaving the sensor goes to 12V positive. Number three from the display goes to the sensor's blue wire. Number four from the display goes to a reset switch, which the other lead then goes to number three or the blue wire. Now the blue wire leaving the display changes to the brown wire from the sensor and goes to the sensor. Now with the speed control board, positive is on this side labeled on the back. Negative is the one right beside it. And that goes to the 12V negative. Now on the other side, the uh, two wires can be flipped, which will change the direction of your motor. So it doesn't really matter which way you go. And then that will work good. Screwing in place the bracket for the counter sensor. Installing the counter sensor. Just tightening it in a little bit. Drilling a hole so I can put a screw in to put the counterweight. Tightening in place, installing some heat shrink, and yes, I do use heat shrink sometimes. For prototyping, it's a lot easier to use electrical tape, but for a final product, it is better to use heat shrink. Now, cutting a little random bracket board just to hold the rod that you're going to run the wire on as you're winding the pickup. Checking the bit size needed. Now, putting the board in place. For a final build, you'd make the wood piece a lot nicer and you wouldn't actually have that here. Measuring the size of the metal bar. 
cutting it. This one doesn't matter how if it has burrs, but we'll sand it just a little bit because we're just going to be pounding it into wood. But we will want the um, shaft smooth because that's what the uh, fine little wire is going to be running over as you wind the pickup. So we're just going to use some sandpaper and we're going to sand that down nicely. Just hammering it into place. Now to test everything out. Now things to note, the step counter does not work properly. If you have the magnet in backwards, it does a really odd, will sometimes double count at lower speeds. At higher speeds, it does seem to kind of work, but it doesn't work well. Now this is at 240 frames a second. If you want to try this yourself, I've made the STL files available on Thingiverse and I have a list of the core components in the description. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.